So, <clears throat> last time, um, actually, I want to check something real quick. Yeah, because I sent these guys out like forever ago and completely forgot about them. Okay, so what do we get for it? Lots of exp good grief. Okay, 10,000 XP for that. That was interesting. Like, it's just something to do that you can use your boxed Pokemon on. And that's pretty neat, actually. That did an exceptional job. Lots of XP, so that's not really a lot, but okay. They did level up, so yay. Interesting. I'm curious. It didn't ask if anybody wanted to learn items or anything, so I wonder if it works like the um, nursery, and they just learn moves automatically. Also, I need that icon. <laughs> Channel imagery. What is that? Okay. Dragon type? I don't have any. Some rock solid Pokemon. Okay. And then we need ice type and bug type. So basically, this is what you do with all the Pokemon that you box. <laughs> okay. Anyway, what I need is... Yeah, I wanted to check out the team for a bit. Oh, Cramorant's fainted. I feel him up. So I've worked out a, a plan to keep this Cramorant. I, I shouldn't need another one. Uh, if I happen to see one when we go back to the island, uh, I may try and grab one just to get one that's physical, because... The physical Cramorants are so much easier to level. They just, they learn physical attacks. You can run a special Cramorant, but it requires um, move tutors and records to get decent special attacks. Like you can learn like Surf and Hurricane are probably its best stab moves. I'm out. All right, we are going to. Um, this place. Oh, wait, actually, hang on. Can I? What's the arrow for? Interesting. Oh, can I just fly over here now? Oh, that's extremely useful. Okay, so I figured out what, uh, what all these exclamation points are and what I'm supposed to be doing. I had to do a little bit of research for it. So give me Pokemon. I need swap out. Nope. Hang on. Go to boxes. You have to have Kubfu in your party and go to those locations. That's what the exclamation points are for. Move. Swap him for Berserker. So let's check the little guy out. I don't know if I did this or not. Check summary. Inner focus. Yeah, okay. And he has the uh, neutral nature. Yeah, I did check him out last time. So, Rock Smash, which is an okay starting move for fighting types nowadays. Uh, yeah. Endure, 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 literally, that's it. That's the only move he has. It's So let's see if he uh, can learn any TMs that I have.
curious why he can't learn beat up. <laughs> uh, retaliate? Yeah, whatever. Not good. And that's about it. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, for Madison and Grass Knot. That's cute. Okay, so he can't learn anything. Just like every other Pokemon in this game. He can't learn any of the TMs. The TMs are completely useless in this game. He hop on a bike. Any mushrooms? And a revive. I was also curious last time about where you go to do the uh, apricot, apricots. And I looked that up as well. We'll do that. Oh, I did NA. That's cute. Okay. So let me hop off the bike. Cub Fu has to be head of the party. So he'll be out. Let's hop. Okay, and now I'm looking for a dude. Apparently. Has anybody seen a camper? Or a hiker, whatever they're called in this game. Just, just wondering. Or candy, that's nice. Urgh. Oh, rough foot! I want it. It's adorable. I don't think Pub Food's gonna do very good in this fight, so we're gonna swap out. <laughs> Hopefully he doesn't just annihilate from after. Look at him though, he's adorable. Look at that hair. My god, hair. You know what I mean. His head feathers. Plumage. If you will. If I can take two more of these, that's gonna hurt. Yeah, okay, never mind. Who's next? Like the net effect from the netball. Hey, there we go. All right. A uh, kapu grew a level. That's cute. Not that we really care about Cub Fu very much. He's adorable. There we go. And I would like to use him on a team at some point. Just not this one. Uh, let's see. Need to revive Fomantis because, oops. Cool. Piece of ore. Cottage. Hi. I mean, sure. Let's see. Woohoo. Like, it's a good way to get them in the Pokedex in case, like, you need to know where they are. It should show you where their location is now. Okay, do. 
Does he have to be head of the party when I enter the area, or is it... Oh, no. This. There we go. So this apparently raises his friendship. And that's, uh, that's what they were talking about. What I get for not reading carefully enough. I was out of time the other day anyway, so I couldn't have done all this. Cool, okay, now. Town map. Where else are we going? We need to go to Challenge Road. I'm not entirely sure how to get there. Stop it. God. Why did they put the bike on the plus key? Like, seriously. Ooh, Malamar. Nice. If you've got umpteen billion buttons, you put it on the most awkward to press button. Like, why? Okay. Challenge Road. Skarmory. Who else is in the grass? Hello? What we got here? We got Rock and Rolla. Yeah, that's another Rock and Rolla. Come on. Gotta have something else. Just them. Okay. Give me the item. Everstone. Eh, not particularly useful. Ooh, Lycanroc. That's actually one of its forms, isn't it? The... the... You can tell if that's his day form or his, like, combined form from Ultra. No, that's just his basic form. His combined form is like orange. All right, so I actually want to look around this area some because I didn't come here before. Item ball down here. Rock rough. I believe I already caught one. Mine shoe. Yeah. Click on the diglet. Thank you. Okay. What's the, uh, this guy? Um. Is that the little octopus guy? From this game? That would be cool, because that was the alternative to Farfetch'd. I had considered replacing Farfetch'd with this guy, because... Being far-fetched to evolve is annoying. <clears throat> he needs three critical strikes in one match. Which requires an opponent to have Pokemon that can survive three critical hits. <laughs> anyway, uh, I need to swap out. Uh, actually... Do you even have a flying move? What do you have? You have luck. I mean... Okay. I got anything else that's... Uh, nope, it's just Kramer. Okay. Let's go Kramer. Don't need to invite anybody. Let's just go. Every time I invite people, they just bail as soon as they realize it's a two... Uh, less than five stars. Hey, we got the uh, the dojo guy. <laughs> oh god, that's so loud. Why is it so loud? I, I literally can't turn that down anymore without turning game sounds way low. Alright, Dynamax. Airstream. Let's go. This is also cool that you can catch uh, this guy and Cramorant and other late-game Pokémon. 
Yeah, Quabapus is one that I would like to put on a team early, but you can only get him like between seven and eight gym uh, gems. So this way you can try out any different Pokemon as you want to early game, get a feel for them. I actually have some pretty strong, uh... Oh dear. Never mind. I was gonna say, I have some pretty strong, uh, partners, but... Then they go and use a stupid healing move when everybody's at full health. Idiots. The AI is awful. Also, how come, uh... Max Airstream doesn't raise our team's speed. I feel like it should. Like, it should instigate Tailwind. Oh, it does raise speed, okay. Yeah, see, that that would make sense. Okay, throw the Pokeball. Yes, I want to throw the Pokeball. I think probably just Great Ball and be done with it. It's gonna be a hard choice whether or not to use this guy over Farfetch'd or not. We'll see. Small, medium, or rare candy, and a berry. Oh! Double TMs. I'm not sure what body press is. Probably deals more damage the heavier you are. Or the bigger the difference in weight between Pokemon. That would be cool. Uh, no nicknames. Send him to the box for now. Okay. Give me this item. Metal coat. Neat. Also... Nope, just another Chansey. <laughs> just another Chansey. One of the rarest Pokemon in the gen it's from. If not the rarest. Where did I just run into? <laughs> okay, I really need to get Kubfu out from the lead team. Leader of the team. He doesn't need to be there. Walk out, please. You know, I, I need to invert my controls, because it's a little awkward. Pulling the camera. There we go. That's more what I expect from controls. With it being inverted. I don't know why it is. More items? All oh, kinds of items. More Everstone, yay. How many Everstones does one person need? You can sell them for like a thousand Poke Dollars, I think. But they're not useless having it. You could sell them and buy a few potions or something. Flying doesn't miss. You know what? It's better than any of these. They didn't do it. Just go away.
Can you get out there to that island? Huh. Interesting. Oh, that's a cool view, actually. Oh, wow, you can see the Max Raid beacon from all the way over here. I say, if I was a developer, I would hide all kinds of stuff back here. Ooh, black glass. Nice. Road shop. I've got one of those, but that's still handy. My physical Cramorant build was going to use the throat chop, but, you know. That's the other thing. I need to look at, uh, is physical, special, physical. I'm going to have another special. Who's, uh, it's a physical. So, Cramorant being special would balance out the team. I'd have three of each type of attacker. Which is a thing you need to think about. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't even want the Tower of Darkness, thank you. What I want is... I'm out. Uh, how do I get to Brawler's Cave? That, like... Do I go through here? Huh? You got anything new today? Nope. What about you? Huh? Carries? Nobody cares. Uh, you're the cooking ingredients guy, nobody cares. Uh, how about you? My move tutor man, what have you got? Mr. Move Tutor, where are you? Is it you? Yes. At, uh, door. What do we want to uh, learn? Rising Voltage. Seems decent. Seems awful. Dual Wing Beat is the, uh, the flying one. It's um, physical, obviously. Uh, Farfetch could learn it, though, and it's basically a base 80 move, which is decent. Skitter smack. <laughs> yep, that's it. Where's the fire type? There it is. How come? Okay, I'm the starters can't do stuff. Weird. Okay, well, whatever. <laughs> 